video i am going to show you how to easily detect a short capacitor how to easily detect a shorted capacitor hello this is ict doctor please if this is your first time of coming across this channel i want you to subscribe to this channel and i want you to give this video a thumbs up because you are going to learn a lot from this video I am going to show you practically how to detect a short or a bad capacitor using your multimeter. Now, this is my multimeter here with me. But listen, I'm going to show you something. As we are looking at this thing, we have three capacitors here now. These things, these three capacitors that I are seeing here, are smd capacitors they are smd capacitors smd means surface mounted device that is the full meaning of smd now when you talk of uh, uh, smd capacitors we are talking about surface mounted device capacitor that means a capacitor that is being mounted on the surface of this panel and may looking at it this capacitor is at the top you can you can barely see it with your, with your eyes so in this video i'm going to show you how to detect and know if these capacitors are bad in some motherboard this is a, a laptop motherboard in some motherboard you might be having an issue a power issue in a system and um, you wouldn't even know how to test and read for capacitors do you understand or even if you know how to read and test for capacitors you might be confused if this is actually the right way to test them please bring your multimeter if you have one bring your multimeter i'm going to expose a secret to you today now this point here is the continuity mode or the diode mode this meter it does not emit light it beeps and this is the diode mode or continuity mode that means if I should set this my multimeter to this diode mode, this meter is going to emit sound. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? That means these two things are connected. Now, coming to how are we going to use this to test capacitors? First of all, you should know what capacitor means and you should understand the work of a capacitor. But if you don't, I'm going to briefly explain to you what a capacitor is. Now, a capacitor stores charge in a motherboard. A capacitor is like a temporary st storage of voltage in every motherboard. These SMD capacitors are actually working for these components here now. What we have here is a MOSFET, this is a MOSFET, this is a MOSFET, and this is a MOSFET. Do you understand? This is a spider IC. I'm going to tell you the functions of these components in my next videos. That is why you need to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any update that I'm going to post. Now, coming to why these capacitors are here, these capacitors needs to be here because of this MOSFET. They need to be here. This is a circuit on its own. This is a power circuit. In every power circuit, we have more than two MOSFETs there. So we have over two MOSFETs here. Here is a power circuit. Do you understand? So, if you want to text for a bad capacitor or you want to know if your capacitor is bad, the very simple way to do this is to place your multimeter in the diode mode or in the continuity mode. Now, bring your two probe wire. These capacitors are not supposed to read. Like, let me let me give you an example now. It was not supposed to read by beeping a sound like this. A capacitor doesn't supposed to make that noise. In a situation whereby you are reading your capacitor and this end, this leg here, and this leg is beeping. Like, if I join these two legs now, it will beep. That means there is a problem. That capacitor is shorted. Shorted capacitor means there is now a current flow. Now, this is no longer working. It's no longer working as a capacitor. It's now, it's now, it's now like a passage. Current now flows and pass whereas current is supposed to flow and store now the capacitor regulates the voltage it gives out that is the work of a capacitor now this capacitor here now tends to let's assume now a voltage is coming to this capacitor when the voltage is being passed to this capacitor 
it tends to absorb the current the voltage it carries it for a while it carries it for a while then it moves the voltage it regulates it then passes it out but in a situation whereby you join these two leg like this in a situation whereby you join these two leg like this and you hear like a beeping sound something like this you hear something like this that means there is a problem it's not supposed to be this is not a fuse neither is it a resistor because there are some resistors that are like fuse this is a fuse very good now watch this this is a fuse this is a this is a resistor but somehow like a fuse so it's reading a low resistance but not beeping but look at this one is a proper fuse for an example can you see that now this is a fuse that means this point and this point are connected together just like these two points that are connected together that is it so when a high voltage that is greater than what is being embedded here now a high voltage that is greater than what is supposed to flow through here comes in here that will bring a breakdown this field has to disconnect but that is not our topic for today i am going to teach you everything about computer systems every single thing you need to know about motherboard please do well to subscribe to this video and share this video to others if you're benefiting a capacitor is never supposed to beep when being connected both end there's supposed to be a resistance there's supposed to be a resistance here knowing a bad capacitor it's very simple it's very very simple now we have my negative and positive probe wire my negative and positive probe wire place my negative probe wire to the ground now this is my ground i'm using this point as my ground you can use any point as you can use here as your ground you can use here as your ground you can use here as your ground but i think here is more better so that my hand I can get the view of what I'm showing you. One leg of this capacitor, these three capacitors here now, not just these three, any capacitor on the motherboard, one part of the legs is connected to the ground, while one part is connected to the positive. That means capacitor has two legs. We have plus and minus. The situation whereby both ends on a capacitor beeps, like the positive and negative leg beeps, that means that capacitor is bad. That capacitor is shorted. Do you understand? So let's read now. Let's read. Can you hear that beeping sound? This is the negative leg. Can you hear that? So these three legs, this point now is the negative part of this capacitor. We have confirmed one part. Now this side is not supposed to beep. The moment we discover that this side beeps, that means there is problem with this capacitor here there is a big problem with this capacitor here now let's read look at my multimeter let me on my multimeter light so that you'll be observing what i'm doing can you see that resistance on that multimeter we have 489 80, ohms we have uh, over a thousand can you see that this is the resistance of this capacitor this is the resistance of this capacitor so these capacitors are good okay let, let me try this one here can you see that can you see that my ground this one is connected to the ground my negative probe wire is connected to the ground connecting it to the ground okay let me use this one and read it again connecting to the ground my positive wire can you see the resistance this shows that this capacitor you see the ground these three capacitors are good now coming to this point you read this one is okay this is the ground of this capacitor if both end of this capacitor beeps that is a problem so this is just a simple way to understand and to dictate a shorted capacitor it's very simple like that this this trick works 100% it works 100% now you should understand that what I used in making examples for you is SMD capacitors now there are different kinds of capacitors we have a lot of capacitors on a motherboard capacitor is like a general name we have a whole lot of a whole lot of capacitors 
do you understand so i will be showing you people gradually the things that you need to know and the things that you are supposed to know please even if you know this still drop your opinion in the comment section if i made any mistake um and if you don't know this i hope this helps you i hope this helps you and i hope this puts you through in every area of your work please do wait to like this video subscribe to my channel for more videos like this this is ict doctor